like giant. So how do you fold to a jam? It kind of gives you a weird range where you might just have like no folds, you know? So therefore you have all value basically. So I don't know, it's kind of a weird spot. I don't know what to think about it overall, um, but it worked out pretty well for Daniel. We should definitely ask him what Doug had in that hand um, to find out like, you know, could he have stacked him or, you know, what, what should he have done differently on the river maybe? Three bet pile on the left here. Probably had a hand like TT, if I had to guess. Oh, four bet on the right here. My goodness, what a flurry of action here. Three bet pot on the left. Doug check calls this is the three better pre. We see a four bet on the right going post once again. Daniel with his patented 20% flop size in three bet pots. Check shove on the flop. Snapped. Jax versus 10's oh, cool. backdoor flush draw. Gets there. Oh, Doug Polk gets there for 81k with the backdoor hearts. Would have been huge for Danny if he won that one as well. Oh, wow. He gets away with a large river value bet here with the nines um, after check calling flop in a three bit pot on A side board. And then we get the snap sit out from both. My goodness, what a last 30 minutes of poker.